in this video you want to study translation vector a translation vector a x y move each of these object along x axis distance x and uh, it moves each of these object that is object a and b c along the y axis and parallel to the y axis distance y so to get the vector here you are given uh, this object as x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So under this translation vector, which is x, x, y, uh, the image of A, which I'm going to call here A prime, will be given by x1 plus x. So this will be given x1 plus uh, x. The one along y will be given by y1 plus y. So you have y1 uh, plus uh, y. So that is the image of object A under this vector of translation. Now, uh, for B, it will be given by x2 plus x. Along the y-axis, it will be given by y2 plus y. The image of, uh, of object C, which is C prime, will be given by x3 plus x. And that of uh, y3 will be given by y3 plus y. So simply, to get the translation a vector sorry when you are given the vector and you are given the translation vector this is our translation vector actually normally translation vector is represented by 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 t so if you are given object you are object object vector uh, to get the image we simply it is object vector plus translation vector this one is going to give you the image vector I image vector so when you are given your object vector and you are given translation vector to get image uh, image vector will simply be given by Yeah, object vector plus translation vector will give you the image vector. Now, if you are given, now from here, it means this implies that uh, the translation vector can be given by image vector, image vector minus uh, object vector. So in case you are given the translation you are given the image vector and you are given the object vector, you can get translation by subtracting the image vector minus the object vector. So that is how you deal with translation vector. Example, <coughs> we are given uh, a new object whose element are as follows. Uh, you have a, mat uh, <coughs> a matrix A with the element 1. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we are given a translation vector whose values are one, one. And then the question is we are going to find image of matrix A. So to get image of matrix A, so image of matrix A will be found by A plus translation vector T. So A image is equal to matrix of A, which is 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then plus the translation a vector which is one one 
So the image here will be one plus one. It will give you. So this is equal to clearly uh, two. Three plus one will give you uh, four. Five plus one will give you six. Then you have two plus one, which will give you uh, three. Four plus one will give you five. And the six plus one will give you seven. So when you are given translation vector, like in this case, and you are given your matrix, to get the image, what you simply do, you want every element uh, with the translation vector. This is the element along x axis, and this is the element along y axis. So element one has been translated along the x axis one unit as shown here to obtain two. Three has been translated along x, uh, x axis along one unit to get four. Five has been translated along the x axis to get six. Similarly, two, which is along the y axis, has been translated one unit along the y axis to obtain three. Four has been translated along the y axis to obtain five. And the six has been translated along the y axis to obtain seven. So that is how we obtain. Uh, that is how we obtain a uh, image of translation when you are given the matrix and you are given the translation vector. That is. So in the next video, we are going to focus on. We shall be focusing on the transformation matrix. How do we get the image? of a matrix given a transformation matrix or around you obtain the matrix of transformation when you are given the image and the object. Thanks so much for watching this video. In case you are there and you have not yet subscribed, kindly consider to do so so that you don't miss a single video which I upload every day.